Well, April is National Brunch Month, and as we're enjoying this warmer weather, nothing can be better than being surrounded by the people you love while sipping on some delicious cocktails, especially kind of mid-afternoon. It is brunch season. That's why we brought in Tim Laird, author, chef, chef, and chief entertainment officer, CEO, to walk us through the mouth-watering cocktail and food recipes. Uh, thank you for joining us this Monday morning. Great to be here, Brad. I'll tell you what, I always want to start out with a Bloody Mary station, especially I since brunch time, right? I love a Bloody Mary. <laughs> and this is my blazing you know what? Bloody Mary. My blood, boss would love for <laughs> me to Bloody Mary Perfect. right now at this time <laughs> anyway, of the morning. Anyway, what I do is actually I asked my favorite bartender what his secret was, and he told me, well, it's the Bloody Mary mix, mm -hmm. and he recommended Zing Zang, and I, I found out they're yeah. actually uh, a Chicago couple, mm -hmm. uh, couple came up with this mm -hmm. uh, recipe, so it's yeah, great. It's delicious. And they have this new blazing that's out that I oh, love okay. it. Just super. You don't have to do anything. Just a little bit of the spirit or non-spirit if you want to go alcohol free and maybe a squeeze of lime. That's so it. So that's extra hot. That's right. And extra this hot. Got, that's, this is got, this is alcohol free, right? Don't alcohol make free, an HR right? Issue this I'm going to do a traditional ounce and a half of vodka and. Uh, Put in about four ounces of the blazing zing Oh, wow, zing. that is really good. Is that good. kicked up or what? It's got a little, it's got a good kick. <laughs> it's, I like that. I really do. And uh, the garnish, this is a bourbon mm. maple bacon that you can make. Yeah, uh, nice. Very easy. Just a little bit of uh, bourbon, a little maple syrup, bake it in the oven. It's delicious. It's a garnish and a side dish. So, cheers. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Anyway, mm. zing zang blazing. So, you don't have to do anything. And then, wow, it's really good. It's springtime, so a little pea soup. This is basically just some leeks, onions, uh, a couple other ingredients, and uh, of course, two packages of uh, frozen peas goes in. A little chicken stock, and you just blend that up, and your guests can actually serve themselves. I love that. So, uh, a little appetizer starter as well. All right, let's bada boom, bada bing these final things. You That's got right. A delicious. We got the Bloody here. Mary uh, shrimp. Boom. Starts out with shrimp, and of course, everything in the Bloody Mary. We got some c celery as a garnish. A couple, a little bit of parsley, onion, mm. olives. I've got cucumbers, and of course, tomatoes goes in there. And then I just pour a little. This is the alcohol-free, just okay. the mix, original uh, Zing Zang Bloody okay, Mary mix. Got that. That's Boom. gonna be our salad. That's gonna and be then salad. We got and then this a is salmon. Manhattan salmon. Basically, I, love that. I make a cure with uh, everything in a kind of a Manhattan, an old-fashioned uh -huh. little bourbon, salt, brown sugar, uh, zest of an uh, orange, uh -huh. and dried cherries, all chopped up. Put that on there, cover it, put it in the refrigerator 24 to 48 hours, and you're good to go. And you can put it on everything from bagels to cucumbers to anything. I like how you put them on cucumbers. You I know, do. Keep it keto friendly, everything like that. Tim Absolutely. Laird, the Chief Entertainment Officer. The book is Bourbon Country Cookbook. Okay. It's uh, available uh, mostly Amazon's probably the best deal, but uh, it's a wonderful book. A lot of the re all the recipes from here are in this book, and uh, just a lot of fun. Okay, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Brad. I got some Mother's Day ideas here too you know keep the bloodies coming my friend absolutely cheers